Okay guys, RK Jason here. I'm going to talk about something that may save you having to replace a socket. Um, I'm work I have some punch out boards out here and uh, I have some uh, corrosion down on some of these sockets. Now you see this green crap? That is the copper that has corroded in there. And in a severe situation, this is on the borderline that you may actually have to replace a socket. But if the socket, but if the corrosion is just on the on the outside, just on the verge, um, you can clean it up. And I'll tell you how. Uh, first, I'm going to use the Works toilet bowl cleaner. Now, what we're after in the Works is the um, hydrochloric acid. So I'm going to pull these chips off. Let's see if we can get a good view of how bad these really are. Now, it's really important that you don't leave this stuff on for too long. Keep in mind, hydrochloric acid is the same stuff they use to uh, etch circuit boards. So this stuff basically dissolves copper, so you really don't want it on there for long. Okay, so let me see if I can get a close-up of this. You can see there's definitely some corrosion there. Okay, I'm going to pick this up. We're going to get some hydrochloric acid, or the works, on here. I'm going to scrub this for a little bit. You only want to leave this on for like, I don't know, less than a minute. Not long. You can always do it twice. So don't let it linger because this stuff will cause rust. It will cause corrosion itself. Okay. So I'm going to wash this off. And for those of you out there that are cringing about me getting this wet, don't worry. You can get it wet. Just make sure it's dry before you test it again. Okay. See if I could zoom in. And there we are. Clean contacts. No more green. I could actually go over this again. I see a little bit of green. I'm gonna go over it one more time. I just don't want to. Just don't want to let it linger. Also, this stuff's pretty nasty. I know I'm not working. I'm not wearing gloves right now. But uh, you might want to think about it, especially if you're going to uh, uh, be in contact with it for a long time. But you shouldn't be. Don't let the stuff get on you. <laughs> okay. Loose it off one more time. Try to get it rinsed off real well. You don't want any of this stuff left over because it will just dissolve away your circuit board. But, there we go, there's our contacts. Look how clean that is now. See how clean that is? I did not have to replace a socket. Just something to think about. The Works Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Or you could use, I'm going to tell you to use the Works. And the reason why, uh, there is other things. So you can use drain cleaner and whatever. But you got to make sure what's inside it. And the Works is, is a very, very wicked cleaner. Um, but it's somewhat watered down, the, uh, the acid itself that we we're going after. But that's how you do it. Now, now I've used vinegar. Also, I know some people say to use vinegar. This is definitely stronger than vinegar. And uh, <clears throat> I don't think you get as good results with uh, vinegar. But that's that. I didn't have to replace some sockets. All right.